What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 4 of the No Money Spent account. Today, we unlock and pull our first pink diamond to add to our No Money Spent account. Very, very excited to look at it. We do a bit more unlimited gameplay and we actually go unlimited. We had a locker code as well to look at, but we went unlimited, get our ring. It's our second ring for our total six that we need for Devin Booker. Uh, but most importantly, we get a pink diamond. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. It's a bit of a longer one. Uh, it's about 10 minutes of footage that I have to show you guys. A few nice clips in there that I got throughout streaming and throughout just playing casually uh, throughout the past few days. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, let's get straight into it. All right, and here we go. Leveling up to level 18 to begin this episode. Not as high as a lot of other people, but I am gradually getting there at the moment. Now, because of level 18, we get a Shot Creator Award Pack. Open this bad boy up. Hopefully we can get some good gold badges. We get Fade Ace, Mid-Range Shot Boost, and five contracts. Now, now, last episode, I did put three cards into the grading service. We get a 9.25 for Antonio Davis, which is pretty good, a Ruby card. We get an 8.0 for Dikembe Mutombo, who will sometimes be in our lineup, and a 9.25 for Kevin Love. Kevin Love's a card that's currently in our lineup right now. Now, after a few TTO games and a few limited games, we get back up to level 19 now, so we're pushing closer and closer towards this uh, this uh, Carmelo Anthony, which is good for us. Uh, now, we do have an Ascension board, a chance at Marcus Johnson. Uh, you can see here, I speed this up a little bit. We had, I think, four picks or something like that. We get a plus three, a plus two there which is very, very handy for us, 100 MT. Uh, we do get a foul, which is pretty unfortunate. You can see we're trying to clear this board as much as we can. We do, however, get the next Ascension Ball, which is very good for us, which means that from now on, for Season 1, we will be choosing from this top board, which is very, very good for us. So we do have one foul. We get a Shoe Award Pack plus a pick. We get 250 MT, 300 MT. So you can see this is a good chance for us to get a lot of MT. Uh, we don't, unfortunately, get him. We get another foul here. We do have a Deluxe Pack that we open up. We get John Collins, who uh, is... All right for domination, I guess. Nothing, not going to make my lineup or anything, but he's a good card to have at the fourth for domination. Uh, we get a shoe boost pack there, and we get Sapphire Kobe Bryant from collector level. I'm not sure what number of cards it was, but we do unlock him for our collection level. So we open him up, and it's an 85 overall code, which is pretty nice. Now we go back to the Ascension Ball. For some reason, my draft just cancelled on me. I had a draft going. I didn't forfeit it. I didn't lose three games. But for some reason, I logged in one day, and it just gave me the Ascension Ball with five picks total. So unfortunately, we get quite lucky as you can see we do end up getting to the top board off of five picks so i was quite happy with it however i'm not sure as to why i received this in the first place i was a bit confused um but we do uh, just ran you can see here i'm just completely going random uh choosing whatever i can i don't know why i'm taking so long to pick i honestly can't remember what i was doing we go there 250 mt go again we get two times which means we get another pick choose uh we get a ruby player pack and we get 350 mt now for our weekly uh login our seven days straight we got a a chance at Rui Hachimura or, or Henry the Blazer as some people like to call him. Um, we get the spin here and unfortunately we only end up with two tokens. So uh, unfortunately we don't get a pack, we don't get a lot of MT or Rui, uh, but we end up with two tokens. Now we have passed the amount of tokens, we have passed 15 uh, and we can now max out our Ruby. We need five Rubies to move to Amethyst so we pick up Tim Hardaway Jr. and we go again with the draft. Now I know it is boring watching these draft screens, but this team that I got here was very, very nice. Tyron Lewis, is the coach, Damien Lillard, Cade Cunningham and Michael Porter Jr., Steph Curry and Mike Bibby. I have uh, two rubies and a sapphire for my uh, number one position, and we get Alan Houston to back up our, uh, our shooting guard position there. We get Kawhi Leonard and Rudy Tomjanovic, a very, very nice small forward there. Uh, for our backup power forward, we get Tom Gugliata. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce his name, but um, if, I mean, look, I'm happy with that. And Spencer Haywood, who is an underrated center. I'm telling you right now, very underrated. Now, after we go through a few more draft games, we get level 20, which means that we can unlock Mr. Sapphire Damon Jones. Very, very handy player. I will have to uh, we'll have to play around with him and get his challenge done. I will do that after I've recorded this episode. I'll jump on the account and get that sorted out. But you can see there, Damon Jones, 85 overall point guard. Very nice. And welcome to the collection. Now, we did get a uh, Colossal Pack. Uh, we, we managed to get that. We get a Sapphire Build and Beer. Not the greatest thing in the world, but we'll take it. You can see there in the bottom left, 175 cards collected after opening another Colossal Pack. These are from like the the free locker codes and the challenges and triple threat online just doing stuff like that uh because of the collector level we get the purple marble ball which is very nice um I, i'm once again i said in the previous episode not a huge fan of the balls i don't really care it's a, they make no difference to me now limited we do a pick up um we do pick up a deluxe uh league pack which is very handy for us hopefully we can get an amethyst potentially sell him off and, and get quite a bit of mt from that we open her up we get 
Steve Kerr, which is quite nice. A nice coach to have to our lineup. Now, we did get a locker code. It was a flash pack locker code. If you guys haven't looked at the new cards that came out on, uh, I think, what day was it? Was it Saturday? I'm not sure what day it was, but the new content that came out on Friday morning or Saturday morning, whichever one it was. Uh, the new flash pack of Derek Rose, Dikembe Matumbo, those glitch cards. Very nice to have. Now, we end up getting a flash pack, which is very, very important for a no money spent account. I was lucky to get down the bottom there. On my main account, I didn't actually get down to the bottom. I got like a, a contract pack or something. So we have a chance here at getting a flash card. We open it up, we get a Ruby, and we get Mr. James Worthy. 89 overall, a Ruby James Worthy. Very happy with that. Now, just a few clips from gameplay here. Uh, a bit of a glitchy block there. This was, uh, that was in Limited earlier, and uh, we're back to the authentic uh, grading service. We get a Lowry Markinen, we get a 7.0 on him, we get a 7.0 on James Worthy, and then we get on Mr. Mahmoud uh, Abdul Raha. I can never, I can never pronounce his name right. Uh, we get a decent rating on him as well. So now, we sold a a few more badges, sold some players. Um, you can see those players that I, I rent, I um, graded earlier. I sell them off because people see the grade and think, oh, must be better, so I'm going to pick him up. So we get around, I think we had around 80,000 MT at the moment uh, total. Now we do get another uh, deluxe board, and now this is where the good stuff happens, chat. We finished our draft again. We went 10-0, very, very easy, very straightforward, and you can see that we have 31 picks on the top board. I was praying to myself, I hope we get Glenn Robinson. We had to get him at some point. You can see here just absolutely clearing the board. Another, another extra five picks there. So we have probably around 36 total picks on this top board. So I was hoping that we can get him. Um, we've had pretty bad luck recently. You guys have seen the previous episodes. We've struggled to get any sort of luck on these uh, on these uh, these ascension boards. And uh, after going 10-0 around four times now, I just needed to have him. You can see here, though, one more card. We get 200, 500 MT, and then we get the man himself, the grand prize, Mr. Glenn Robinson. 95 overall small forward, power forward from the Milwaukee Bucks. Very, very excited to bring him to the team. And that was with 17 picks remaining, so we still had a lot of picks to go through. Uh, I think I do speed this up. Hopefully, I do speed this up. Um, but we, we end up going through and opening as many as we can get here. We end up getting 300 MT. I don't think I sped this up, so I apologize if this goes quite slow. Uh, but, but we go through, we get a lot of uh, MT and tokens. You get so much from doing this. You get so many tokens. You can see they're a Ruby Pack player. You can get, you can sell him off and make a, as much as you can. You can see now, I was just making a pattern in the uh, in the in the draft board, in the ascension board. I wasn't focused on, uh, on what I was pulling. Another 300 MT. So you get a lot of MT and tokens. Now, if you guys are struggling with draft, the main thing is like, it's very RNG. You're not, you're not guaranteed to get good players and draft. I've been very, very lucky with what I've got so far. As we, you can see down the, uh, just before, we got a diamond shoe boost, which is very handy. You can see the kind of pattern that I'm making around, making the, uh, sure everything's symmetrical. Um, I, I don't know why I did that. I, I just felt like doing it. 300 MT, yeah. But look, it, it really comes down to your draft. If you can get an unlucky draft, as long as you can get a competent point guard and a center, you can pretty much just do, do very well. Honestly, like all you need is a good center and a good point guard this year on draft. And, uh, you'll be pretty much set. And I would recommend if you haven't touched draft, do it now. Do it now while you can, while Glenn Robinson's still there because you can now get the uh, the recent glitch players and the uh, the, the um, flash players in the draft board. So you can get Duncan Robinson is almost guaranteed. So if you haven't used Duncan Robinson, very, very nice jump shot. Very, very nice uh, animations overall. He's actually got a higher dunk tendency than uh, Derek Rose, than Diamond Derek Rose, which I found was quite interesting. Uh, however, I would recommend picking him up either for your team overall or just uh, looking at draft and making sure you select him because he is very, very nice. You can see they're finishing off there. We'll open up all these packs that we got from the draft ascension board. Got a, quite a few there. We get a, uh, a Calvacini, uh, which we won't be using, but maybe uh, in, in a limited game mode further down the track. We get a Ruby player pack, hoping for someone good. We get Horace Grant, not too bad. Uh, hopefully he sells for a little bit. Now we get a Diamond Shoe Boost. I was very, very excited to get this and we get a Pass IQ. So, fortunately, not the greatest. We unlock, uh, we collect five plus plays here, which means we're moving through those lifetime agendas. Here he is, though, Mr. Pink Diamond, Glenn Robinson, small forward, number 13 from the Milwaukee Bucks, 95 overall, Mr. Glenn Robinson. So excited, man. It took so, over, what, nearly, over 40 games, probably over 100 picks total. It took so long to get him, but thank goodness
Christmas, we finally have him. This is a bit of an updated look at the team here. We have Ron Boone, Evan Fournier, Glenn Robinson, James Worthy, Kevin Love, Trey Young, Devontae Graham, Derek Jones Jr., Dario Saric, and Mitchell Robinson. Now, I will, that will change before the end of the episode. I can guarantee you. So stick around. That's not the fully updated lineup. I had a few more players to that. Now, I decided to go through and I decided to make my custom court. Um, so if, if people come up against me, they'll potentially know it's me or they'll they'll see on the end the, the blatant advertising that I do towards the end. I'm hoping that there's no... I, I tried to see if there's any like graphic or any any interesting images uh, while I was doing this. So I, I don't want to show anything on YouTube and get me demonetized or banned or anything. You can see there, we have to be cocky with it. We have to go best no money spent series on YouTube. Chuck that down one end, live on Twitch down the other. Sideline, no money spent so people, people know because the, everything else about about my name and my team doesn't uh, doesn't already tell you enough. We go through trying to find a middle uh, middle court image. I didn't know what to, I was going to upload my own. I was going to upload like my face or something. I, I might need to get a logo potentially, but I really wanted to go with a an, uh, a kind of a Golden State Warriors Oakland Arena sort of thing. So I went with the uh, the regular Bay logo in the middle. You can see there Justin Jubatron and a bunch of other stuff, adding some logos, um, just making the court kind of feel a bit more customized than regular. Um, and then we'll eventually do the color of the seats, make them orange, make sure that uh, Jumbotron is um, the right color. And so far, I mean, look, is this called a W or an L chat? I think it's a W. You can see here, a bit of gameplay here uh, in free free roam with Mr. Glenn Robinson. I was all right with his jump shot. It took me a while to get used to it. It's a bit slower than a lot of others ones, but um, I, overall, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this episode. Let's jump into the recap. So guys, I know I didn't show it at the end there, but we do, we have uh, got Serge Ibaka. We have added him to the lineup, so we moved him up. We also got Duncan Robinson, and we also got Darius Miles. So my starting lineup at the moment is Ron Boone, Duncan Robinson, Glenn Robinson, uh, Darius Miles, and and Serge Ibaka. So that's currently the no money spent lineup. And then we've got Trey Young. I can't remember the exact bench, but it is a very nice bench. And I do like this team overall. I'm currently, as we're speaking, about to go back to Unlimited and try to get this Wilt. He'll be probably, honestly, nearly my backup center. I don't know if I'll start him. I do have Mitchell Robinson as my backup center right now. So I feel like he'll replace him. But we'll see how we go. We'll go through the levels um, and I will update you guys on everything that we do. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, thanks so much for the support in this series. I know like uh, people are struggling to get views on YouTube videos videos on Twitch channels and whatnot. I'm going to keep my grind up, keep being consistent because hopefully it will pay off in the future. Uh, and if you guys would like to be there with me, then please make sure you stick around by subscribing and liking the video and showing any support in the comments is always appreciated. So see you guys in the next video. Peace.